Jó. Csak egy négy. Milkshake. Good night. How many plugs of I were going to get on this let's play? So we spoke to our companion yesterday and got all that out of the way and uh had some fun. We did uh what's his name? Sebastian's quest, which is nice. Who's a funny boy? You are. Yes, you are. Friend's gonna go see her dogs today, which is nice. Oh, need to uh, remember to up my stats. Let um, me go for calling this dexterity this time. It's fine. Uh, assassin, I like. I like assassin. Even the main pot for now. <clears throat> we'll do night terrors, why not? A lot of people find different characters uh, likable. Like me, I generally tend to find um, well, well, in, in Dragon Age 2, I find quite a lot uh, likable. But the three main ones are the people that I actually have on: no, uh, the Meryl, uh, Isabella, and Varric. But uh, the missus said that uh, Beryl's uh, so Meryl. Here you've been visiting the Viscount's oh. gardens, Daisy. Oh, they're enormous. And they're always empty. Why don't more people go to see them? Probably because they're private and surrounded by guards. I thought all those men looked a bit cross. Um... <clears throat> yeah, I've heard that Meryl's, um... I don't want her to use the, the mirror, because I think it's a fucking stupid thing to do. But she always ends up doing it in my let's play, so I'm, I'm actively going to try and stop her from doing that this time around. I can tell she's a fucking moron whenever she tries to do it. Because uh, apparently her rivalry is really good. Um, she's hard to get into rivalry with though because she's just so sweet. It's like, oh. You know, and most of her. I, I tended to think that most of her stuff that she was. You know, the bad decisions she was making. Most of them were simply because she was just ignorant of what was going on, you know? And things. Uh, let's give her some. some magic. Yeah, I mean you can even see there, look I've just been nice to it like twice and it's completely swung that way. Alienages. They're the same everywhere. I was hoping you'd come. You did so much for my Fenriel already, but I visited him among the people, but he turned me away. I know the demons still plague him. And now they've taken him. Two days ago. Fainreal went into a nightmare and hasn't returned. He can't be woken up? The Keeper says he is near death. His lips still fog a mirror, but that is all. Surely there are mages who can pursue him in the Fade. <clears throat> I have contacted Keeper Marathari. The Dalish have an ancient ritual that might help. 
But it requires someone Fainreal trusts to enter the Fade to free him. So you're what? Hoping I can yell really loudly in his ear? Maybe give him a good shake? I'm hoping you can reach him. You made a strong impression when you rescued him from the slavers. Yeah. My Dalish friends tell me he speaks of you all the time. The Keeper says Fainreal's powers are a throwback to ancient magics that once let elves shape the Fade. The only way to reach him is through his dreams. Do you make strong impressions? How would such a magic work? I am no mage. I only know the Keeper said it was a power greatly feared by the Tevinter Magisters. Well, alright. I could use a nap. <laughs> it is not enough for you to dream. You must enter the Fade, as a mage does. Marith Harry is coming to perform the ritual that will bring Fainreal back. His childhood things here will help anchor him. Are you willing to submit to her magic to save my son? I love how that'll flip in tears. <laughs> That's a sarcastic quote. What does the ritual entail? The Keeper can explain it better than I. Her ritual will send you into the Fade. Once there, I imagine you face down the demons until Fainreal regains control of himself. You will be unable to return from the Fade until he does. I've made worse deals. Frolic through dreams? Sounds like an experience. I'm game. I've already called for the Keeper. We need to begin the ritual as quickly as possible. Would you like to stay here or return when she arrives? <clears throat> Hang on. Hang on. In Dragon Age 1, we needed a mage to go into the Fae to confront demon, and no one else could do it. Oh. Uh, that's not right. This is too urgent to delay. You have been far kinder than I had any right to expect. Oh no. And my girlfriend said the same thing. <laughs> In chat. I came quickly, Ariane. I did not wish to tell you by letter how grave your son's situation is. The magic he possesses makes him what the Tevinters called Somniari, a dreamer. Dreamers have the power to control the beyond, what humans call the Fade. Fainreel is the first in two ages to survive. Why are they so rare? Dreamers have great power in the Fade. They attract demons. Luckily, most prove too frail of mind to survive a demon's possession. A dreamer abomination would be near unstoppable. What can a dreamer do? Dreamers are unique for their ability to enter the Fade at will, without the aid of Lyrium. In the Fade, they can shape dreams, and even affect the world beyond the Veil. Tevinter Somniari used to enter the minds of sleepers and slay them in their dreams. Is there a difference between the Beyond and the Fade? They are the same. By either name, the Fade is the realm of spirits, Thedas' heart, while the mortal realm is its strong arm. The demons who live there covet the bodies of mortals and seek to possess them. 
Only mages ever touch the Fade in a waking state. Others see it in dreams. What exactly are we going to do here? The Elves of the Dales were experts in the Somniari Arts. They could even help those with no power enter the Fade. I have done my best to recreate the ritual. Ah, oh, there we go. We will use Fame Reel's childhood home as a focus to draw him back through the veil. There we go. So that's it, yeah. <clears throat> they basically said that, oh yeah, the elves could help people without magic go into the Fade. Okay, fine. Just send me into the Fade. I told you he was amazing. Now, Ariane, please excuse us. We must prepare. I am on oh, time. Of course. There is more, I must tell you, that is not for her ears. You're really not my type. <laughs> this is a serious matter. Fame Reel cannot become an abomination. The destruction he would cause is unimaginable. If you cannot save him from the demons, you must kill him yourself. A death in the Fade will make him what your circle calls Tranquil. He will be no threat after. I will not let him become a danger. I wish you luck. Now, gather a team and we will begin. Choose carefully, for all will face temptation. I never give in to temptation. Can I come? I'd love to see the ritual. And I promise I, I won't be a bother. I admit, I'm a little fascinated. Let us begin. I agree, Varric shouldn't be able to go in because dwarves are like shut off from magic, but. Nah. This is the funniest group, I think, to take in. Is this the Temple of Old? What an awful thing to dream about. Come, Fainreel must be trapped further in. forgotten magics in one day. It's usually a slow place, the Fade. Not many surprises. I wasn't sure I'd like this one, but it has potential. A sloth demon. Think active thoughts, like running and jumping and such. Call me Torpor. I have a proposition that might Torpor. interest you. I will not give in to temptation, fiend. Have it your way. <laughs> Have it your way. Back into the wall. Foul demon. Pretty much is the warp, but like fantasy warp. If anyone knows any Warhammer 40k lore. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. On the eve of the 31st millennium. My people, I you know? present to you our hope. His features may mark him as human, but in his heart beats the blood of the Dales. He came to us to learn his heritage, to release the power from a lineage as ancient as our race. I... I don't know what to say. That's not the Keeper, Fainreel. Demons can take on other forms. He lies. The first enchanter is a pawn of the Templars. No. Silence, demon! Weren't you... 
Keeper Marathari warned me of this. You're not the Keeper. Mother's people have no circle, but they don't consort with demons. You. Why did you interfere? With my power joined to his, Fainreal would have changed the world. Have you ever seen an abomination? They are ugly. You put such stock in appearances. Perhaps that is why your friend's loyalty only goes skin deep. You think this elf, with her innocent face, would turn down a demon's offer? She didn't before. How about it? Would you take what I offered the boy? Scion of the Dalish, savior of elven kind. Can you do that? I am the greatest of my kind. Whatever tricks your little pet has taught you will pale in comparison. Do it, and you're a dead woman. I... cannot put you ahead of the fate of my people. You took my dreamer. Now you'll take his place. Oh, your dad. Well, obviously, you're dead. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that was a one hit kill there, by the way. What does it say? Stupid. <clears throat> yeah. I expect Isabella's probably going to turn on us because, you know. Hello. Yeah. I hold Meryl to a higher standard than that. Like, we don't know Isabella enough so that she wouldn't turn on us, you know? That's it, Fainriel. Hard on the downstroke, then lift. Good. I'll have you scraping all my letters soon. If I'd known you were such a brave lad, I'd have brought you into the business years ago. Does that mean I can come with you to Antietha, Father? Mother said maybe this summer. Right, Mother? Your father never wanted anything to do with you. Don't trust him. Why are you lying to me? Don't listen, son. She's always been ashamed of you. She wanted you gone. So she could go back to the dailies. I'm the one who loves you. But... Why can't I remember you? This is a trick, Fenrir. He wants something from you. Why... That's right. I spent my whole childhood waiting for you. Your mother never allowed. My mother loves me. She showed me the letters she wrote you. You never wrote back. And it was Mother who taught me to write, not you. I've never met you before. Who are you? Don't... question... Me... Ah! You... you turned him against me. Complete accident. I was trying to help. Honest. Take away my pets, and I'll take away yours. How loyal are these friends you drag into the Fade? Would your pirate queen stay if the open water beckoned? Probably not. What do you say, sweetheart? A two-mast brigantine, square main topsail, a hundred well-built lads to answer your every whim. I know you've been looking for a stiff masthead. Hmm. Should I turn around now to let you stab me in the back? Or would you rather it be a surprise? <laughs> you are just the sweetest. The silence call to awaits in Kirkwall Harbor. I'll be under the furs in the captain's quarters. I like big boats. I cannot lie. Bang! See you there.
I'm not sure if this is real. If so, it is the second time I owe you my life. The fade feels different now. I see the stitches, the seams holding it together. I feel I could wake at any moment. Dreamers control the fade and the dreams of people in it. I see why the Chantry fears us. I've heard tales of Magisters who stalk their enemies and use their own dreams to destroy them. You're right. I must master it. Find someone to study under. The Dalish do not have what I need. Perhaps to Vinter. If these powers can be trained, it would be there. This is a far cry from the sniveling boy we pulled from those slavers. He may be ready. My mother would not look kindly on such a journey. Can you give her my farewell? May the Maker guide your path, Fainriel. Perhaps there is a way out of this. I can do this. Fainriel has mastered his powers. Then he lives. <clears throat> you saved him. I cannot thank you enough. Keeper Marathari, may I return with you to the Sunderlands? I would like to ask for my son's forgiveness. Of course. It was you who chose to stay away. He must go elsewhere to train. There is no one in Kirkwall to help him. He asked me to say goodbye. My son? No. I must find him before he goes. It is wise for him to seek guidance. Kirkwall cannot provide what he needs. I truly did not think what you did was possible. You are a rare human indeed. You have my apologies. It is easy to forget that one cannot bind demons with words. Your friend awakened here some time ago. No one is immune to a demon's offer. You accomplished a miracle with Fainreel. This book belonged to the last dreamer of our tribe. It has a rare magic beyond price. Please, accept it with my gratitude. Why don't you give it to Fainriel? He's the one who needs it. And why did Fainriel... Where's he gone? He was only in the other room. I don't get that at all. Mm. What was Lemerin like? I've never heard of a Dalish who's been there. I don't imagine your people travel between islands much. Not really, no. I wouldn't start waterproofing your wagons then. I don't think Lemarin is ready for the Dalish. What do you mean? Would we upset the people there? It's not the kind of place where one turns down a tumble. Even refuse a fortune teller and they'd run your lot out of town. I turned on you. With the demon in the fade, I'm so sorry. Masaranas. I'll understand if you can't forgive me. The next time you betray me, I'll cut you down. I won't. I, I would never. Masaranas. I've been so careful in all my dealings with spirits until now to make such an obvious mistake. It frightens me. It takes so little for a mage to fall. What do you do to protect yourself from demons? The Keeper taught me. 
In the Fade, you must believe nothing but yourself. Everything there is a lie, or a trick, or a trap. I knew not to trust, and I don't know why I did. What made you give in? It felt like every word the demon spoke reached out and pulled at my heart. I didn't want to believe it, but I just had to. You could have killed Fainreel or me, or become an abomination. But I didn't. You stopped me and put things right. Thank the creators you were there. It won't happen again. I'll make sure of that. Good. I never have affairs with my crew. Once they see you naked with your ass in the air, they think they don't have to take orders. <laughs> Men. Oh, you have to be twice as tough to earn half as much respect. So did the crew member mutiny? I mean, after you... You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I had the offending member removed. That got rid of the attitude. I... Oh, look, it's Hawk. Out. I like big boats, I cannot lie. Really, <clears throat> Isabella? Well, I do. Blighted Demon knew it, too. <sighs> I'm sorry I abandoned you in the Fade. That was foolish of me. I mean, I didn't even get the ship in the end. So you admit it. You'll betray a friend for a ship. Hey, not just any ship. I could see the hard line of the hull, run my hands along the elegant curve of her prow. Oh! The demon was in my head. Nothing but the ship made sense. You betrayed me for an imaginary boat. My feelings are hurt. I already said I was sorry. What more do you want? Would you like me to clean your privy for a month? Shit. I really shouldn't have said that. Hey, Nora. You and me in my room upstairs. Last warning. The alienage is overcrowded. You are Hawk. A patrol went missing along the wounded coast. The Arashok says you have some semblance of honor. So tell me. Did you kill them? If I did kill them, why would I tell you? You'd just attack me. I seek an answer to a question. What has happened to the missing Karatam? Vengeance is not relevant to this task. I haven't killed any Kunari recently. Mind your tone, or that could change. I believe you. If you are not responsible, I waste my time here. You go ahead. I have something I should do. No time for distractions, Isabella. I have business here. Well, you can go right ahead. <clears throat> That's starting to get old. This whole no trust thing. Sarah Hawk. 
Yes? Last we met, I did not know your name. Did not care to. You have changed your fortune over the years. The Kunari have not. I offer a courtesy, Hawk. Someone has stolen what he thinks is the formula for Gatlock. You will want to hunt him. Excuse me, but this sounds like quite the feat. It was allowed. The stolen formula was a decoy. Sarkamek, a poison gas, not explosives. A small amount is dangerous enough to your kind, but if made in quantity, perhaps by someone intending to sell it. That merchant, Javaris. Would he be cautious? Or would he assume success and make enough to threaten a district? A courtesy hawk. You will want to hunt him. Any idea where we can find Javaris? I heard about a sell-off. Merchant territories and such. They don't do that unless someone left in a hurry. I'd have figured he'd rook some noble. He's sure not a burglar. Just tell me where he is. I haven't kept up on the squirt. Ask the coterie. Panahadon, Hawk. I do not hope you die. Thanks. It's not always fun in games on the sea, though. There are storms and hostile pirates. And it's trying being cooped up with men who haven't seen a woman in months. You're a woman. Exactly. And I don't usually let them touch me, so they get... frustrated. I insist all of them get alone time. Helps with the crankiness. They're already lonely. Why would you insist they be alone some more? Ah, oh, Meryl. What? Did I miss something? Go think about it. Maybe it'll come to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Turn up your purses, Kurtwall. The leases of Javaris Tintop are up for grabs. You're selling the assets of Javaris Tintop? We are. Limited districts, limited contracts. Keeps territory clear and separate from the start. He had a meager lot, but he skipped with dues outstanding. So up it goes. Sounds like he's made a few friends. Can one of them point me his way? Ask that about anyone else, I'd have you thrown out. This one, he owes me too. Javaris left in a hurry. I'd put him at Smuggler's Cut if he's avoiding patrols. It empties at a cave outside town. Tell him I said, don't come back. Don't There's no way back. this Javaris stole from the Canari. That's hard. I've heard. Trying to be any more fucking obvious.
Any way to greet an old friend? You? Granny's garters, she would hire you. I can't buy a break on discount. You know what? Go ahead. Take my head and pike it back to that sodding elf. I need the rest. What in blazes are you talking about? Wait, you don't know? Then what? You're tracking for the Kunari? Then she did it. That elf got them after me for nothing. Bitch born. It certainly wasn't hard to frame you. Look, I'm minding business, same old. And out of the blue, some elf tries to kill me. Says she's got the Kunari powder and I'm her cover. I slipped her, hired some bodyguards, and ran for it. And now you're here. Great. So far, all I see is you. Leaving the other person behind is the first step in running away. Sorry if that's inconvenient. Here. Want to drag Dark into light? I had a man follow her. The elf's in Lowtown. I just want to get out with my dead guards. Thanks for that. You and I are done. Good and good. Thanks to you, I've got a lot of dead gear to haul. Sodding dog lord in Rotor. <laughs> He bothered me. <laughs> I think we'll leave it there for now because the next part's quite long and I've got to make a phone call. So um, I'll be on in a little bit and we'll play some more. That was quite funny. <laughs> so, see you in a minute.